Leslie Sebastian Charles, MBE, born January 21, 1950, known professionally as Billy Ocean, is a Trinidadian British recording artist who had a string of R&B international pop hits in the 1970s and 1980s. He was the most popular Trinidad British R&B singer-songwriter of the early to mid-1980s. 1. After scoring his first four UK Top 20 successes, seven years passed before he accumulated a series of transatlantic successes, including three US No. 1s. 1. His 1985 hit When the Going Gets Tough, The Tough Get Going reached No. 1 in the UK and No. 2 in the US. In 1985, Ocean won the Grammy Award for Best Male R&B Vocal Performance for his worldwide hit Caribbean Queen, No More Love on the Run, and in 1987 was nominated for the Brit Award for Best British Male Artist. 2. His 1988 hit Get Out of My Dreams, Get Into My Car reached No. 1 in the US and No. 3 in the UK. His 1986 hit There'll Be Sad Songs, To Make You Cry, also reached number 1 in the US. 3. In 2002, the University of Westminster, London, awarded Ocean an honorary doctorate of music. In 2010, Ocean was presented with the Lifetime Achievement Award at the MOBO Awards. On July 29, 2011, Ocean became a companion of the Liverpool Institute for Performing Arts, presented to him by Sir Paul McCartney. 4. He is a member of the Rastafari movement. 5. Ocean was born in Fezabad, Trinidad, and Tobago, to Hainsley Charles, a Grenadian musician 6, and his wife Violet. 7. He moved to Romford, England when he was 10 years old, just before Trinidad and Tobago became independent in 1962. He was exposed to music at an early age. During his teenage years, he sang regularly in London Club 6, while also working as a tailor in London's Seville Row. He was discovered by his first manager, John Morphew, who recorded a double-A side single at Pi Studios in London with a full orchestra. However, the ballad singing style of Ocean was going out of fashion and Morphew was unable to get any major label to release it. It remains unreleased. Ocean's father, who had countersigned the management contract as Ocean was underage, asked Morphew to release him from contract, which he did without penalty. In 1969, he joined a local band, The Shades of Midnight, playing in the Shoreditch area of London. He recorded his first single, Nashville Rain, backed with Sun in the Morning in 1971 for Spark Records as Lay Charles, and for two years fronted a studio band called Scorched Earth, with whom he released on the run backed with Let's Put Our Emotions in Motion in 1974. In an interview with Miff Warhurst on ABC Radio Melbourne, Ocean stated that the story of him having taken his stage name from the local Ocean estate, Stepney in London's East End, 8 where he was living at the time, was in fact not correct. According to the interview, the name was derived from a local football team that was in his hometown in Trinidad and Tobago, who called themselves Ocean's Eleven. 9. In 1976, he recorded his first album, Billy Ocean, with its first single release, Love Really Hurts Without You, charting at number 2 in the UK Singles Chart and number 22 in the US Billboard Hot 100. He enjoyed club success from the songs Are You Ready and Stay the Night from the album City Limit, both of which were later covered by La Toya Jackson. More successes ensued, including LOD, Love on Delivery. He also wrote and composed songs for other artists. In 1981, he scored the US R&B chart with Nights, Feel Like Getting Down. Between 1976 and 1982, Ocean released four albums, Billy Ocean, City Limit, Nights, Feel Like Getting Down, and Inner Feelings, through his record label GTO, the albums none of which scored success on any musical charts aside from his biggest single up to that point, 1976's Love Really Hurts Without You, which was a top 40 and a top 10 hit in both the UK, number 2, and the US, number 22. As Sony Music acquired GTO Records in 1978, Ocean was shifted to Jive from Epic, in which he received a second breakthrough in his career in the early 1980s. The fall of 1984 saw the release of his fifth studio album Suddenly and its main single, Caribbean Queen, No More Love on the Run, becoming successes on the charts. Caribbean Queen became Ocean's first number one single on both the US Billboard Hot 100 and Hot Black Singles charts in late 1984, 
and the album debuted in the top 10, peaking at number 9 on both the US Billboard 200 and the UK albums chart simultaneously in the US and UK. Suddenly reached gold in the UK, and was certified double platinum by the RIAA, Recording Industry Association of America. He also recorded with Scott Walker in 1984, singing on his album Climate of Hunter. The single scored Ocean 2 Grammy Award nominations, and won the Grammy Award for Best Male R&B Vocal Performance at the 1985 Grammy Awards. Ocean was later presented his award by Shalimar group member Jeffrey Daniel on 620 Soul Train, a UK incarnation of the American music dance show Soul Train. The album's title track also became a success, peaking at number 4 in both the US and the UK and the song Loverboy, while also being a number 2 US success in 1985 was also featured in the first scene of the popular UK BBC One TV series Casualty, in 1986. Ocean appeared at Live Aid in 1985, singing Caribbean Queen and Loverboy, from JFK Stadium in Philadelphia. His 1986 album Love Zone also sold well. It included the successful singles When the Going Gets Tough, The Tough Get Going, the theme from the film The Jewel of the Nile, this was a number one success in the UK and a number two in the United States, and There'll Be Sad Songs, To Make You Cry, a US number one, and also a major UK success. Also included were the title track and Love Is Forever, which were number 10 and number 16 US successes for Ocean, respectively. It also earned Ocean a second nomination for Best Male R&B Vocal Performance at the 1987 Grammy Awards. In February 1986, Ocean's video of When the Going Gets Tough, the Tough Get Going was banned by the BBC, owing to such non-union members as the American actors Michael Douglas, Kathleen Turner and Danny DeVito, all three of whom were cast members of Romancing the Stone and the Jewel of the Nile, miming to the backing vocals. 10. At the 1987 Brit Awards, Ocean was nominated for the Brit Award for Best British Male. 2. Ocean's next album, Tear Down These Walls, 1988, featured another number one single, Get Out of My Dreams, Get Into My Car, while the album was certified platinum. 6. Ocean's 1993 album Time to Move On failed to produce any major successes, but his 1989 Greatest Hits collection has been a steady seller over the years, and his 1997 compilation Love Is Forever made number 7 on the UK album chart. Ocean's last studio album for Jive Records was Time to Move On, which he recorded in Chicago with R&B star R. Kelly. In 2002, the University of Westminster in London awarded Ocean an honorary doctorate of music. 11. The awards ceremony took place in the Barbican Centre, in London. 12. He continues to tour and record in Europe. Ocean is now a patron for tech music schools in London. 13. Made up of drum tech, vocal tech, guitar X and keyboard tech. He regularly visits to hold clinics and seminars for the students.